What's up, C-O-L? It's your man, C-Mill. C from the D coming at you with everything that's real. How you doing? How you doing? Today is a lovely day. <laughs> it is a lovely day. Hope you guys enjoy your 4th of July festivities. Hope all is well with your family. Hopefully nobody got hurt, injured, or any of that. So let's thank God. The most high and the creator for everything that's good in our lives. Today, your man C. Mill, C from the D, would like to talk to you about 10 signs that someone may betray you. 10 signs that somebody is about to betray you. Let's begin, my friend. Number 10, they are only there when it's convenient for them. They are only there when it's convenient for them, never when you need them. They will be there to party with you. They'll be there to celebrate with you. But if you say you need some help with something or you're about to do something that's real in life, they're not going to come around. They're hoping that you fail. So they're not definitely not coming around to help you succeed. So keep that in mind, COL family. Okay, number nine. Number nine. If they start acting out of character, if they start really having drastic, um, unrelatable movements, the way they were moving out there, you know, they just changing up a lot. You know, they used to come, you know, next thing you know, they in your driveway blowing a horn or calling you. Now, all of a sudden, you know, they just acting different. They just moving different, the vibe different. You know what I'm saying? Just watch out for it because if they acting funny, then something funny usually is going on behind your back. All right, number eight, they have begun to put distance between y'all. If they put distance between y'all, most of the time this is uh, done subconsciously so that they don't have to deal with the things that they really doing behind your back. You know what I'm saying? Because they already put the knife in your back, so they really don't want to deal with it because they know they had no right to do that, and they know they're a slime piece of shit for doing it. So they trying to put distance between you so they don't have to deal with the repercussions. You know what I'm saying? So number seven, they're giving you a lot of underhanded comments. A lot of underhanded comments. A lot of slick remarks, a lot of slickery. You know what I'm saying? A lot of just stuff that just, you like, what the heck is going on with this person? So watch out for the slickery, the slick talk. You know what I'm saying? Just that, they it's something going on. You know what I'm saying? They brewing up something in their mind. Uh, number six, if they are talking behind your back, if they are talking behind your back, you start hearing whispers and people start telling you stuff with people saying and doing behind your back. They trying to rally people up against you. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got a past. Everybody got things they did in the past. Nobody is perfect. But these type of people want to start picking out little stuff that you might have did in the past and just really highlighting it and over exaggerating it you know what i'm saying to really make you look bad to start their smear campaign and rallying people up to uh, go against you so when they really put the knife in your back people won't believe your version they only try to sway them to believe their version so watch out for that number five they tell a lot of they tell a lot of white lies you know what i'm saying the main thing you want to keep focused on here is trust is a key factor. So if they're telling a lot of lies and a lot of, you know, all this bull crap, you know, and just that type of stuff and saying stuff that just don't even make sense, you know, it's just lying all the time, you know, keep an eye out. Keep an eye out for him because they on some real garbage, man. There's something definitely brewing in the dark, in the shadows, you know. Number four. <clears throat> They dodge directly answering your direct questions. You start asking them stuff about stuff that looks shady or feels shady to you. You know what I'm saying? Start telling them that they changed and telling them they acted funny. Man, I'm telling you, they're going to be shaking this, acting nervous around you. You know what I'm saying? Acting out of character and all that. Keep an eye on it. I'm telling you. That mean they didn't already stab you. The knife already in your back. You just don't know it. But they some punks. And they ain't even going to tell you that they stabbed you or try to even bring it to the light because that's how weak they are. Real weak. Real weak. Um, let me see. Number three. If they're acting too nice and doing fake nice stuff to you out the blue, you know 
most of the stuff that we're talking about is very narcissistic, and these are traits of a narcissist. But if they acting uh, too nice and doing fake nice stuff to you out the blue, when they already been acting shady and acting funny, you already know. You already know. You know what I'm saying? They didn't already they either plotting about to do it or they already done did it. You know what I'm saying? It's already done. You know. And that's the guilt washing over them. That, and they want to do some fake nice stuff for you. Um, number two, they changed their friend circle. Now, all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? You hearing that they doing stuff and doing this and they doing that without you being involved. But other people involved that shouldn't be involved. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Y'all, my All my real Detroiters and all my CLWL know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? They doing stuff without you. But y'all was uh y'all was like bosom buddies before that. Y'all was like, you know, Star Skin Hutch and all that. Now, you know, Batman and Robin. Now all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? They doing stuff way over here and you over there and you don't even they doing it on some sneaky stuff and sneaky tip. And you ain't involved. You like, what's going on? What's really good? What's really good? You know what I'm saying? Cause when you was down and out, I was there. When you was broke and you ain't know know what whether it was uh, 6 in the evening or 6 in the morning, I was there. You know what I'm saying? But now it's all this slickery, slickery and sneaky stuff. You know what I'm saying? When you don't have nobody to turn to, I was there. You know what I'm saying? All right. And number one, when someone has told you that someone has betrayed you, that has no gain in the either way, is usually true. It's usually true. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Take a heed to people telling you stuff that went down, that stuff that went down when you wasn't around. You know what I'm saying? And they was talking down on you and doing stuff behind your back with other people and stuff. Oh, yeah, the knife already in your back. Believe that, you know? So, you know what I'm saying? These just some signs, you know? And then we got a bonus round today. We got a bonus round because some stuff I just got to mention. Some stuff, number one on the bonus round, they will pur purposely exclude you out and talk about it with other people and then deny it when you ask them about it. They will purposely exclude you out, talk about it with other people and do it with other people. And then purposely exclude you out and deny it when you confront them face to face. You know what I'm saying? They ain't no real G's and no real nothing. But when you confront them, there's no, no, no. You know what I'm saying? Which is some real, like, punk, whole ass shit. Uh, the next one will, the, the number two bonus one, when they begin to uh, demean, bully, degrade you, and especially if you guys were tight, now there's a sudden change in their actions and the way they talk to you. They hold demeanor, that vibe, like they don't want you around. Watch out for a seal wheel. This is your man, C. Mill. Hope this helped. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. I'll see y'all on the next one. Stay blessed. You too blessed to be in that mess. I love y'all, man. Peace.